Hey guys, it's HTPB here, and today um, I'm going to do a little bit of a more serious commentary. Um, a situation just happened to me um, earlier this week. Um, and I'm going to tell you about it, and I'm going to tell you uh, why this is important. Um, pretty much, parents were out of town, so um, my grandparents stay down in one of our rental houses during the summer so I walked over there it's just a few blocks down so I walked over there uh, to have dinner and then as I was walking back there were these three kids um, never seen them before in my life um, just walking by I could tell that they had airsoft guns um, and all of a sudden one of the kids just says hey shoot him I'm like and they were talking to me. They weren't talking to each other. They were talking to me. They were telling each other to shoot me. An innocent person just walking down the street, never seen them before, had nothing against them. Um, and, and now, I know this is a paintball channel, and I'm talking about an airsoft gun here, but in all honesty, airsoft and paintball are pretty much the same. They're both recreational sports. Um, where you have guns and you're shooting at each other for fun. Um, so, then I went home and I was thinking, that's why no one takes paintball or airsoft seriously. No one considers paintball a sport because of kids like that. Um, kids who... Um, just go out to Walmart, get an airsoft or paintball gun, and just vandalize, um, you know, houses, or, um, heck, threaten, um, innocent kids who are walking by, like me. I mean, I wasn't really intimidated by them. I mean, there were three of them, yeah, with airsoft guns. Oh, whoa, oh no. Um, I mean... And one day, one of these kids is going to get seriously hurt because of their stupidity. And then that's just going to make, <clears throat> it might make paintball and airsoft popular, but it's, in return, it's also going to make it um, very unpopular. And everyone's going to, um, we aren't going to get new people coming in because everyone's going to think it's really dangerous and someone's going to really get hurt. But, um... I mean, we're just letting these kids ruin the sport for us. I mean, I'm a, I'm a teenager, but I'm not stupid, and I don't go out and do crap like that. <clears throat> so, um, I mean, everyone inside the sport wants it to progress. They want it to, um, go up, maybe get into the X Games, maybe the Olympic Games, even, um, I at least get it on ESPN or something, but is not going to progress if um, we still have kids out there doing this crap. Um, honestly, I think the worst thing that um, the sport has ever done is let um, their products be inside of retail stores like Walmart or uh, Target or some places like that. I mean, it's ridiculous. Um... That's, I mean, I love this sport, and I don't want some stupid kids in my area to ruin it for me. I mean, I spent thousands and thousands of dollars into the sport, and they're just going to screw it up with the $10 Walmart gun? I mean, it's just like, for one, it's low of the companies that supply, like, Walmart, because... I mean, yeah. I mean, I can understand if you want to sell more product. I mean, uh, people who are new to the sport are going to go into Walmart and find it and buy it. So you're going to sell a little bit more product. But it's stupid. You, you're you just going to have a bad reputation. Like, JT, they were a fairly good brand whenever um, it was back in uh, the earlier days. 
but nowadays, I personally don't really have any respect for them, because they're just putting all their stuff out into Walmart shelves, and, um, it's just making them look bad. They're supplying all those, um, rebel kids that are doing all this crap, and that's why, uh, that's why no one takes the sport seriously. Everyone who hasn't played the sport before looks on the news, sees, ooh, a kid vandalized some place with a paintball gun, so it's a horrible, you know, hobby. They don't even consider it a sport. I mean, um, when I came back from spring break, they asked me what I did, and I said that I went over to Galveston, or went over to PSB Galveston, and, I mean, uh, my Spanish teacher, she didn't even realize that there were tournaments, nonetheless, worldwide tournaments in paintball, and that's what everyone looks at, I mean, no one thinks of it as a sport who hasn't played it, I mean, even still people who have played it don't really consider it a sport people with rental guns just still think of it as a recreational thing a hobby but i consider it a sport i mean i go to tournaments i pay all this money and buy all this gear and that's pretty much what all the sports are about they all go to competitions and stuff and that's what i do in paintball um just a serious video please comment rate and subscribe and thank you